Well, hey, pals. Welcome back to Peeps Wax Packs, and welcome to another edition of Mail Day. Uh, it's not really an edition of Mail Day. It's uh, not like that's a segment I do, but occasionally I do get mail, and occasionally I do get mail from pals in the hobby. And this one is a big, heavy, thick envelope from Shoebox Legends that has been sitting on my shelf now for weeks, actually. Uh, and I just got to opening it and making this video. And let me tell you, I can't wait to see what's in here. It, it must weigh a pound. This thing weigh a pound or two, a couple of pounds. There's how thick it is. There's my uh, address. And, uh, you know, don't focus on that. But uh, let's look at what's inside this big stack. It's a big stack. And uh, it's got some weight to it. And it's got a note with it. Peeps, a few extras I had laying around and a couple I grabbed for you in the Mike the BB Baseball Card Dudes sale a while back. Enjoy and thanks for your friendship, Shane Shoebox Legends. That's awesome. Now, Mike, the baseball card dude, had a sale a while back. That's right. He was selling some stuff to uh, make a big ho home improvement or house repair. I don't remember exactly. But uh, go check out Mike, the baseball card dude, as well. I'll leave a link to his channel below. That's pretty cool. So, um, you know, it's great to have friends in the hobby looking out for each other. Perhaps they're in an auction or a, a sale or, you know, uh, on YouTube live or something and they see something uh, that their, their hobby pal might like and you just go ahead and grab it. And let me tell you something, right off the back here, we got a Rod Carew, a 69 Rod Carew and an SGC holder. Are you kidding me? Uh, well secured with the blue tape and look at that beauty, a 1969 Tops. Rod Carew, um, that's just fantastic. Are you kidding me right now? It's in the old SGC holder. Um, a beautiful copy of a 69 Rod Carew via Mike the Baseball Card Dude and Shane over at Shoebox Legends. Um, I can tell you, you know, it's just super thoughtful. It's an amazing card for me. I'm a big Rod Carew fan, one of my all-time favorites, without a doubt. And um, to have a nice slabbed copy of the 69 Carew, and this one looks nice and crisp. Now, the holder could use some work, but I can do that. I have some stuff that I'm gonna show you. Uh, let's look at the back real quick. There it is, the third year card for Carew. Uh, the 67 is a split rookie. There's a little scratch there. And I'm going to, maybe I'll, let's just see if I can find, um, see if I can find my scratch remover. Um, I can get rid of a lot of these scratches on this Plexi um, holder. And, um, but uh, let's just prop this up right here. Man, that's a really nice copy, and I think it's being compromised a little bit because the holder is so scratched up. It's just old, and that's okay. Uh, we can take out the scratches with this right here, Novus 2, fine scratch remover. Uh, you, can <laughs> you can buff out fine scratches with this very, quite easily, actually. Uh, you just need a little elbow grease and, and, um, and a little time. Uh, but if you're only doing one at a time, you're going to want to grab one of these little microfiber cloths that you might get with your eyeglasses. Uh, they're great for cleaning eyeglasses, and um, they're nice and soft. And um, you're just going to put a little dab on that microfiber cloth, and you're going to work it around. And maybe I'll do a little video to show you how to do that exactly. Um, uh, because... You know, you can find nice cards like this in holders that need some TLC, and uh, you can turn them right around and um, give them even better eye appeal. But uh, what a beautiful card. Let's not get uh, beyond the uh, point. The point is, this is a gorgeous card, and Shoebox, I just can't believe you sent me this card. I know you were in that auction, and, um, you know... 
I don't think you told me you were doing this. Uh, so I'm shocked and amazed and look at that. Another slabbed card. This one coming from GMA and that's an old Allie Reynolds. I believe that's a 1951 Topps game card. Now Topps did put out cards in 51. There it is. Let's get this blue tape off of here. For goodness sake. The 51 Topps game card. Uh, they're called Redbacks. And this was a game that Top produced. It's Allie Reynolds. It's literally one of my dad's favorite all-time Yankees. My dad was a big Yankees fan growing up before the Twins were in Minnesota. And look at this, 1951, Allie Reynolds, legend, Allie Reynolds. Um, you know, if you don't know about Allie Reynolds, look him up, just Google him. He's, he's amazing for a lot of reasons. And uh, what a beautiful little copy here. My dad's gonna flip out on this. Uh, he's going to be psyched about this Allie Reynolds. And um, wow, just I'm floored here. I'm completely floored. The Carew and the Allie Reynolds, you know, th those are two cards that um, I'll be able to take home to Minnesota. And, and there's going to be a moment there where I show them to my old man. And, um, and he's going to just, he's going to beam, you know. So, make hobby friends, people. Make hobby friends, help each other out, uh, and things like this might happen, you know? Um, that's all I would say to people new coming in the hobby. I mean, maybe people who have been in the hobby a long time um, have, uh, or, you know, have been sort of having a hobby community for a long time. Uh, maybe they're used to this sort of thing. But I think newer folks can learn something from gestures like this in that um, spend some time, make a community, and, uh, and um, you know, be encouraging and generous, and, and it'll come back to you. It'll come back to you. And these two cards here are a perfect example of that. I got two more bricks, though, for crying out loud. Shoebox didn't stop there. There's two bricks of penny sleeve cards and we're gonna go through this one we might save the other one for later um, how about this one on a big league it's ballpark landmarks the famous Minnie and Paul neon sign that lights up it's actually animated it's well as well um, well it's not animated but the the lights kind of make it look animated as though they were shaking hands Minnie and Paul um, you know, back, way back, the Minneapolis Millers were um, a big, uh, I guess they were an independent league team back in the day. Correct me if I'm wrong. St. Paul, the St. Paul Saints had a team. But anyway, Miguel Sano is going to lead it off there. We got Dominic Hasek on a holographics. That is super cool. That's a great old... Um, set that has been rebooted in Upper Deck Hockey as of late. But this is one of the, the original uh, inserts of holographics and it's Dominic Kosick, one of the greatest goaltenders of all time. Um, and uh, I think Shoebox knows I'm a goalie lover. Uh, I love goalie cards that is. And uh, Hasek is definitely one of my favorites. Kirby Puckett here on an interesting, this looks like some kind of independently produced card. Yeah, 1988 Action Superstars, Series 1, Kirby Puckett. You know, in the late 80s, anyone could make a baseball card, and, and anyone and everyone did, pretty much. But that's pretty cool. Ron Klein. There's a uh, 67 Ron Klein from the Twins. I'm not familiar with Ron Klein, but my old man might be. We're going to bring that home, and that'll go in the Vintage Twins binder. I've sort of divided up my binders, and this is going to the goalie binder. It's a Whalers goalie. Shoebox trying to sneak in the Whalers into my goalie binder. Uh, savvy move there, pal. Nice one there, really nice-looking goalie card. And how about a Willie Mays Stadium Club True Colors insert? That's fantastic. 
Willie Mays is one of my main vintage PCs. Um, and Willie's still with us, which is amazing. And uh, what a cool insert here. I do not have this. Um, it's from 2015 Stadium Club. So that's super cool. That'll fit in nicely. And how about a Twins card, Andrelton Simmons. Andrelton Simmons and Bogarts are both from the same area. How about Mark Guthrie on a big high leg kick card? That's a gold, that's a twin, and it's a big high leg kick. Uh, I do have a little mini collection of the big high leg kicks. I plan to show that. Uh, I need to show off some of my mini collections, and Guthrie's gonna fit right into one of those. How about Gino Petrali and a fantastic catcher card? Just colliding with the photographer and kicking up a bunch of dust. How, about <laughs> How do you like that? This guy is, um, well, he got all he could shoot. He got, a, he got his picture and then some. And Gino Petrali is making a great play over the dugout uh, in theory. Uh, we got a Gary Carter for the Expos. Can't go wrong with Gary Carter, one of the best to ever do it behind the dish. And this is from the 2020 Tops. Is this Archives? Is it Archives? It is... Cooperstown collection. It's a nice Cooperstown collection from Gar for Gary Carter. I do not have that. Julian Draxler uh, from the German national team. Now this is from uh, World Cup Russia 2018. Um, that'll fit nicely into my soccer binder. I do kind of collect the German national team. Um, as, as a lot of my favorite players are from Germany and I have German heritage as, as well. Jesse Crane, I remember Jesse Crane. How about a Future Gems Upper Deck Jesse Crane? Uh, had a couple of great seasons with the Twins without a doubt. And um, this has to be from the early 2000s, 2002 it looks like. There's a beautiful one, Dontrell Willis. D-Train with the big high leg kick. I mean, you cannot beat that leg kick. And Dontrell has some really nice cards in my big high leg kick collection. And uh, I always love Dontrell. I, I also love him as a commentator and an analyst. Um, I think Dontrell Willis is a really interesting baseball figure. You know, when he was pitching in his heyday, everybody wanted to watch him. And uh, he had a great personality and is a great um, ambassador for the game. And so I love D-Train. So that's a great pick from Shoebox. And how about a Jose Barrios with a nice big high leg kick right there. And a great shot of uh, Barrios behind the mound as he makes his delivery. And this is an orange parallel from Stadium Club. So this is super cool. Definitely did not have it. Unfortunately, Burrios has moved on to Toronto, but what do you do? Peter Sidorkowitz. Peter Sidorkowitz, another Whalers goalie, and uh, it's clear now that Shoebox is working these Whalers into my binder, you know? And that's, that's kind of how you should do it, right? If you learn... You've got a pal and uh, it's making a collection. Maybe you try to sneak some of your team in there. Michael Pineda, who's no longer with us, but uh, was a solid pitcher for the Twins the last couple of years. How about a Roy Campanella? Great shot of Roy there. Marquee moment. This is from 2011 Tops. I love these throwbacks, these impossible cards. Um, and look at this marquee moment where he hits his first two MLB home runs. That's just a fantastic shot of Roy right there on a really nicely designed card. Um, so that'll fit nicely. I've been getting a lot of these Legends variations in the flagship sets, trying to get one from every year, from at least one from every year they've done it. And they're surprisingly rare. They're short printed. Anyway, Chuck Knobloch is shown here in the fabulous Fleer Ultra from 93 with the Fiery baseball logo in the upper right-hand corner. Knobs won three or four World Series, uh, or maybe five. It's kind of crazy 
how, how many winning teams he was on. Uh, Fa Frank Petrangelo, another Whalers goalie. You know? Yeah, I get it. I see what's going on here. Frank Petrangelo from 92 score. Will Frank make the cut? Well, I have expanded the goalie binder beyond 360 cards, so this being card three, 535, it, it does have a chance. Brian Harper from the Twins. Uh, nothing wrong with that in the Twins uh, collection. Stefan Fissett from the Nordiques. Gotta love that Nordiques jersey. I just feel like the Nordiques are up there in terms of uh, the cards I like uh, simply for the logo. John Gant for the Twins. This is a, a newer, this is from 2022 Tops, the John Gant. So I'll try to put together the team set um, as I do annually for the Twins. Uh, Brett Hull, Excited. This is Skybox Excited. This will actually fit nicely into my Hall of Fame hockey binder. I do not believe I have that Brett Hull, so that is super cool. Um, it's a 96 Skybox Excited. Nice one there. I love the foil work there. The blue foil in particular is a nice one. Just a nice shot overall. It'll fit nicely next to, I don't know, I've probably got six or eight hulls in there. Uh, Harmon Killebrew from the Bomb Squad. This is from the new opening day release. Um, I've got the Griffey, and I'm not sure what else. I think I have the Soto and Harmon Killebrew. How do you like that? Andre Vasilevsky, I say he's going to make the Hall of Fame. Uh, one of the best goalies out there right now. And look at this beautiful sort of sunburst foil. Um, and I'm not sure what year this is from. I should know better, but that foil is gorgeous. And, oh, it's from the Tim Hortons uh, Collector Series. And I believe you could get these packs at Tim Hortons. Um, maybe you could get them through Upper Deck as well. I, I, don't, rem I don't recall, but... Um, Hey, Tim Hortons, who doesn't want to go get a donut at Tim Hortons and a pack of hockey cards? Sounds brilliant to me. Uh, seems like a great ad campaign. Vasilevsky, uh, he just looks stunned right here. Like, I don't know. He's like seeing a UFO, perhaps. Sam Huff, we got a stadium club. Sam Huff, red foil rookie card. And look at this. I mean, this is going to the catcher binder without a doubt. What a great shot of Sam Huff just making the grab. Um, fantastic photography, as always, from Stadium Club. It's just, I mean, look at that shot. And Sam Huff is a good rookie, too. So this, you know, you might regret giving this to me, Shoebox. I don't know. You know, you might, one day Sam Huff might be Buster Posey. Just saying. But what an amazing package. I'm going to leave this second brick for a new, a different video um, because, you know, we're almost to 20 minutes and I think we could split this up and give Shoebox a little more love on the channel. Um, thanks for coming by, everybody. Uh, Mike, the baseball card dude, rest assured those two cards are in great collections. And, um, hey, thanks for coming by, everybody. Take care.